Hey, 2017 number one. This is a wolf of a problem, literally. So go ahead and read the problem if you haven't read it already. It's really testing your knowledge on scatter plots and what these different words mean to start in part A. All right, so for each situation described above, explain what is meant and probably in context would be best. So positive, all right, positive generally means as you go up in the X direction, it goes up in the Y direction. So I would say that wolves with higher values for length tend to have higher values for weight. That's what positive would mean. What would linear mean? Well, linear means that as you're going up, you're going up at the same rate, right? So if you have a scatter plot, same rate. So as the wolf's length increases by one meter, the weight will have a constant increase on average. All right, that constant increase is what makes it a straight line. Now it's nonlinear if it increases by different amounts, like in a quadratic or exponential, so on and so forth. So for linear, to get that one right, for every increase in X, it's gotta be the same increase in Y. And lastly, what does strong mean? Well, if you have a strong scatter plot, it means the data points in the scatter plot fall close to the line. They're not spread all over the graph. They're all very close to the line. And we can say line here because it said linear. All right, the next part, the data collected uh, from the wolves is used to create a least squares regression line. I thought it was very obvious, uh, inconvenient that they used y and x and they didn't use the actual variables that they gave you of weight and uh, length, length would be the x. But anyways, interpret the meaning of the slope in the least squares regression line. So the slope, remember y equals mx plus b? So there's the slope right there. Now the way the scatter plot works, Here's a scatter plot, there's a line. For every increase in x, this equation is going to make the y increase by 35.02. So for every increase in x or increase in the length, that means that the y or the weight will increase by 35.02. So we just need to say that kind of in context. Every increase in x, x results in 35.02 increase in y. Here we go. For every increase in length of one meter for a wolf, we can expect an increase in weight of 35.02 kilograms. That is the meaning of the slope. And lastly, for one wolf in the pack with a length of 1.4 meters, and remember this line predicts, and that's what that equation comes from, it's a prediction line. So scatter plots I mean, the whole point of them, they're not gonna fall 100% on that line or else correlation would be one. And really, you know, that's a boring scatter plot. But scatter plots kind of look like this. You got points all over the place. And so it says the wolf in the pack has a length of 1.4 meters. So as you go over to 1.4, wherever that is, you go up to the line, you have a predicted value of where it should be. However, this wolf had a residual of negative 9.67. So if you remember, a residual is the distance to the line. So if the distance is negative, that means that the point is under the line. So the first thing we have to do is find the predicted weight. So the predicted weight, all right, let's do this. Everybody wait, just kidding. Predicted weight equals negative 16.46. For a 1.4 meter wolf, we just have to plug it in this equation here. And when we do that, you will get the predicted weight to be, that's what that little hat means if you remember, that hat means what we would predict. That is gonna equal 32.568. Go ahead and check me in your calculator. Kilograms, that's the predicted weight. But it says the residual is 9.67. So we are going to subtract 9.67 kilograms, that's the residual. So I'll just make a note there. We're doing that because it's the residual. And we're gonna get a final answer of 22.898 kilograms. And that would be the weight of the wolf because it's below the line, because we predict 32 and it's at 22, that means it has a negative residual. So that is question number one from 2017. Hey, easy. It was a howl. Good luck, AP Stats.